Hey, what's up, gamers? Skeleton Mystic. I thought I might get out of my regular vein of videos today to do a Conan Exiles video. Just like it usually is with any other game, when I have trouble with something or when I get aggravated by something, I find the easiest way to do it and make a video about it. Because, well, I know there's those of you out there who follow me and you're, they get just as aggravated trying to do something the same way I did. All right, well, the subject of this video is Chaos Mouth. Chaos's Mouth is where you have to go once you get all of the bracelet artifacts to get your keystone, to take your bracelet off, to get the hell out of here. Now, I honestly, I don't like the end game the way, the way it is now where basically you just take off your bracelet and you walk off into the sunset and all your crap's deleted. No, I, I don't vote for that. I don't like that at all. So I'm not going to actually leave. I'm going to keep my keystone for whenever they make me rage quit bad <laughs> or want to rage quit bad enough or whenever they quit making content for it and then I'll finish it up that way. So I already have my keystone. But how do you get your keystone? Well, you got to climb up this great big honking monstrosity of a building right here to go out there to the end of this arm where the chaos mouth altar is at. Needless to say, if you've already, if you're watching this video, you've already tried this, this is not the easiest climb ever. Some of these are really, really long stretches and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, is my stamina gonna last? Am I gonna plunge to my death and have to run back here or pop into my bedroll and try to find my body to pick up all the artifacts that I slaved so hard to get? to make this keystone. Well, I know, you know what? I sweated it to actually get up this thing. I climbed it, but since then I found a better way and this is the better way. As you can see from here, there's some, there's some places you can go if you like really, really carefully plan it. But once you get up towards the top of the building, the stretches get longer to where you're, you're kind of, you're kind of clenching a little bit. You're kind of sweating to make sure to, to wondering if you can actually make it out onto that walkway to that altar. I have found a much, much easier way. Okay, this is where I'm currently at on the map. Right here in front of Chaos Mouth. I'm going to go to where you need to go to actually make this climb not only simple, not only easy, but pain free. All right, so let me pop over to that area and I'll show you where I'm at on the map with that. Sorry if the rain sound effects kind of drown my voice out a little bit. I'll try to uh, speak up a little bit louder so you can hear what's going on. All right, whenever I was working on that climb into Chaos Mouth, I, I couldn't make it a couple of times. I was like, you know what? Screw this. Why don't I just build some stairs? You can build some stairs, climb right up and go across. No, no you can't because there's nothing in the front of that building that you can do to get close enough with any kind of building to get up to where you need to uh, get to the altar. Nothing up front there will let you build close enough. You can build just not close enough to make a bridge or a walkway or anything where you can do it. However, that doesn't mean that I was willing to just give up on my quest to build a better mousetrap as it were. So what I did instead was I went around the building looking looking for spots, looking for ways, looking for things. What this led me to was the rear of the building. Here I am on the map, right back here. I'm behind Chaos Mouth kind of north to the northeast of it. All right, and you see the structure behind me as kind of a uh, landmark guidepost. This is where I'm at. And up there on the other side of that building is the Chaos Mouth walkway. This is the one that comes out from the other side of the building. There's one you can't see through the rocks that goes directly the other way. All right, so this is where I went. I came underneath this archway. And right over here, I built me some handy dandy steps. Because this is the hardest part of the climb of the entire, this right here, the hardest part of the entire climb to get up here. Right there. You can probably even make that, you probably don't have to build stairs, but I just did for convenience. All right, so I built myself a set of stairs that pretty much take care of the first stage and longest part of the climb. Come up, jump up, grab a hold, come across this way. 
Now you're gonna see there's gonna be a little jump and grab here, which is not too bad. And even if you do fall, it won't kill you. Right there. And that's the hard part. That's all done. Hard part, done. Climb up just a little bit right here. Looking down to see where I'm at for reference. There you go. This little knob that sticks out right here. This little whatever protrusion, I guess you call it. Climb up it. Oof. <laughs> Grab better. There we go. Climb up it. Climb up this one. Okay, now you can crouch and crawl through here if you're... Uh, if you've got a little problem with vertigo and looking down or looking out to, the, to nothingness, you can crouch and crawl through this and come out the other side, or you can just walk around. Right here. Stay along this ledge. That's, the, that's where you would crawl. That's where you would crawl through. Up you go. See, this time she makes it because she... Yeah, yeah. All right, so there we go. We are on it, and this is it. This is the walkway. Come in here. That's the one you were looking at uh, just a minute ago before we started the climb. This is the way you go. And this side of the building is where, where the bottom is way, way down there. Way down there. And this is the altar that you need. See, it won't let me, it won't, there we go, let me open it. See, I already have the keystone, so I don't have to do this, but if you don't, there it is. The keystone is now yours. And that is how, and by the way, <laughs> when you wanna get back down, just go back down the same way, even if you fall down, there's plenty of stuff there to grab and it really won't hurt you. Guys, that is it. This is how I got into Chaos Mouth after I already did it the hard way. This is the easiest way into Chaos Mouth. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, share. Yo, my name to the heavens. Name your firstborn son or daughter. Skell is good for either one. It really is. After me, because I would love to have that. And until next time, this is Skellum Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace.